I made my boss clean up his own mess. I used to work for this guy, Jeff, who was the stereotypical lazy manager. He wasn't a bad person, just one of those people who thought their job title meant they didn't have to do any of the small, basic stuff like cleaning up after themselves. Jeff would leave his dirty coffee mug on the counter, scatter crumbs everywhere and throw his lunch containers in the sink for someone else to deal with. The worst part, he insisted on holding our team meetings in the break room where we'd have to sit around his disgusting mess. Picture this, you're trying to talk through a big project and right next to you is a half-eaten bagel and a mug with dried coffee sludge. Everyone hated it, but Jeff never took the hints. Anytime someone mentioned the mess, he'd laugh it off with, hey, I'm busy managing. You guys can handle the rest. So I decided to handle it, just not the way he expected. Jeff had this thing about his protein shakes. Every morning like clockwork, he'd grab one from the fridge and go on and on about how they were the key to his fitness goals. It was the only thing in the break room he actually cared about. One day after cleaning up yet another pile of his crumbs, I had an idea. I wrote a note and stuck it on the fridge, right next to where he kept his shakes. It said, Attention, due to recent cleanliness issues, we cannot guarantee that all surfaces in the break room are sanitary. Please clean up after yourself to ensure a safe environment for all. It wasn't a lie. The place was gross thanks to him, but I knew it would get in his head and it did. The next morning I watched from my desk as Jeff stared at the note. He hesitated, grabbed his shake and then put it back. A few minutes later I heard him asking around about who left the note. No one said a word. When the mess continued, I upped the ante. I printed another note. Notice break room areas have shown signs of bacterial contamination. Clean up after yourself to avoid risking personal items. This time I watched as Jeff took out his protein shake, stared at it and then threw it in the trash. He looked genuinely panicked. The next day for the first time in months, Jeff actually cleaned up after himself. I'm talking wiped down counters, no crumbs, no dirty mugs. He even washed his stupid Tupperware. It was like watching a miracle. When someone jokingly asked him why he was suddenly so tidy, he said, well, I don't want to get sick. You can't be too careful. Sure, Jeff probably thought he was saving his own skin, but honestly, it saved the rest of us from dealing with his mess. Now, our break room meetings don't feel like we're sitting in a dumpster. And wow, somebody in the comments reckons they would have thrown out his dishes and I agree with them. What would you do in this situation? Please let me know in the comments down below. And until next time.